Hey guys, it's Remy the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 274 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, at least assuming that you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. So patients in the study are tested for sleep apnea one at a time until a patient is found to have this disease. Each patient is independently has the same probability of having sleep apnea. Let R represents the probability that at least four patients are tested. Okay, so if R is equal to at least four patients are tested. Okay, so actually I'm going to define X to be the number of patients tested, right? And I'm going to assign P to the, as a success. This is a probability of having sleep apnea. Okay, so let's just think this there. They say they give you R is de defined to be. So this is asking for the probability that X is greater than or equal to four, right? At least four patients are tested. That means there could be five patients tested, six patients tested, or seven patients. But if they tested it at least four times, that means the first three people couldn't have had the disease. So that means this is equal to Q to the third. Because if there's at least four patients who have, who were tested, that means, because let's say there's like four people, right? At least four patients tested. Because they stop counting when they find a person with sleep apnea. So when they test at least four patients, that, that means at least three of them. There must be three of them before that didn't have sleep apnea to get to that fourth person. So that's why it's um, three of them. It's Q which is a probability of not having a sleep apnea to the third power, which is also equal to one minus Q, one minus P to the third power. And they're looking for the probability that at least 12 patients are tested given that at least four patients are tested. Okay, well, the probability that at least four patients are tested is already included in the probability that X is greater than 12, right? So then this could just be reduced down to x is greater than 12 because it's kind of redundant for us to say it twice and this is the denominator is just 4 okay and this is equal to whoops my bad and so this is equal to kind of the same idea if there's at least 12 patients that tested that were tested that means there must have at least been 11 patients who didn't have apnea sleep apnea so that's equal to 1 minus p to 11 right and the denominator we already figured out was 1 minus p over 3 so this is equal to 1 minus p 8 right and again r is defined to be right here at least four patients that are tested so r is defined as probability that x is greater than or equal to 4 which again we know is 1 minus p cubed so we want to try to make this 8 have the 3 in it so we can do this by saying just 1 minus p 8 times 3 times 3, right? Because 3 times 3 is just 1. And then just say this is 1 minus p, 8 third times 1 third, 8 times times 3. And then we can just factor out the um, 3 and everything else, put it on the outsides. So that's, just, that's left with 8 third. 1 minus p to the third we know is defined as our r. So this is equal to r 8 third, which is our answer c. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!